everyone, we are live on Neri's Kitchen. Lo oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, we are live on location at Sugar Blooms and Cakes, located at 1020 McPhillips. I'm so excited for today's episode because we will be decorating a unicorn cake. Please welcome owner Nikki Maliari and her assistant Helen. Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for having hey, me. Thanks for having cafe. us. <laughs> So I'm so happy for today. We're doing a unicorn cake. Yes. Let's get started. Okay, this is our most popular cake to make, and it's really fun to make. So we're gonna start off with making our unicorn horn. And basically you just take um, the fondant. And the fondant should be soft and pliable, just like Play-Doh. Okay. That's the texture that we're looking for. So I'm just going to demonstrate quickly, and then you can follow, and then um, Helen will guide you along the way, okay? Okay. So we just roll out the fondant, um, tapering it on either end, just like that. So making it narrow on... Yes. Okay. Because we want to, when we twist it, we want that pointy top. I but see. But then we want the bulky bottom. Oh, okay. okay. That makes sense, yes. Sheila Arnuko says hello. Hello, Sheila. Hi, Hi Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Thanks for joining. So this is a little bit of icing sugar. Um, sometimes the fondant gets really sticky and we don't want it to stick onto the table. I see. Okay. okay. And then we take some a little bit of water and just... Okay. You know, let me start mine. Sure. Okay. Oh. Cool. Okay. So then you want so it basically tapered. basically we're making something like that. Okay. So I'm going to hand this over to Helen and she will guide you on that. Okay, right let's there. get this. Let's do this again because yeah. <laughs> so I need icing sugar yes, on mine. Yes, icing sugar. Oh, let's put lots here. So very gently. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. know, let's, let's yeah. do it again. <laughs> so roll it into a ball first and then a log. Oh, a log? Okay. Yeah, you can start with just like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But you could... Try yep. to knead it more. Oh, so let me knead it more. You don't yeah. want cracks inside. No. Yeah. So knead okay. it a little bit. Got that. There you go. There. Okay. So I'm kneading it. And then a little. Oh, yeah. just. Oh, just so gently. Very gently. gently. Yeah. Harry, I'm trying to. It's not bread, and I. No. Can't, no. That's what it is. I forget yeah. that. You know, it's it's a delicate dough, not. Yes. Okay. So oh. Helen, that should be, yeah, that's the length that we want, more or less. And yeah, you got the right idea. Keep on going. All right. There we go. Gently. Oh, okay. I see it coming together yeah. now. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to tweak it a little yeah, bit right yeah. here. So we want, like, even ends on either side. Okay. And then we're just going to elongate it a little bit. Love it. There. There, so, it looks beautiful. Um, this one's a little, this one's narrow, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And this one is a little bulky. That's okay, too. I mean, unicorns are all different, so. Exactly. Totally there <laughs> is no one size yes. unicorn. They're all different. Exactly. So now, Neri, I'll get you to put water all the way down. All the way down? Yes. Okay. To the not very end? Much. Oh, right not to too much? Very, okay. Yeah, right to the very end. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now... Um, we're just going to put the ends together, and then I need you to just twist it. Oh, twist it? Okay. Like yeah, that? Just like that. Don't worry about the cracks. We can always fix it. Okay. I have a crack in mind, but yes, you, we can fix we it. We can fix it. Yeah, just All like right. that. And then we just twist, twist. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now, the good thing about cake decorating is you can, there's always ways to, like, fix up your... Right little ends here yeah. okay so that's your unicorn horn now um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water here just so everything is secure and nothing is gonna unravel and we always want to see the best side up got it okay now it's time for the skewer so this is what's gonna support the unicorn horn in when we skew it skewer it into the cake okay um, so we just put water so I'm just gonna get you to wet this entire skewer with to water the length, yeah to okay. the length of your horn all right i've never done this before so i'm you're I doing love it. really really well <laughs> awesome here's yours helen this is your skewer here's your brush and then we're just gonna skewer it 
right through. Right to, okay. To the tip. Okay, so I can very do that now. Yes. Oh, very carefully. A uh, trick I Ooh. would say is to, as you're skewering it, twist it. Oh, twist it. You know, I was just going to do that. I yeah. thought I should probably be very gentle when I poke it through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, keep on going. So I'd like to know to my viewer, viewers, have you guys ever tried a sugar bloom cake? Please comment below. I think That's I perfect. made a hole there. Oh, That's gosh. okay. We can always cover that up. That's no problem. Okay. So a trick, I will just keep on twisting until we I can. see. So keep twisting. You can yeah. always hide your flaws. Exactly. And that's the fun in cake decorating. There's always ways to hide the flaws in your cake. Okay. There so, we go. So funny story, you know, I've never decorated cakes before, uh -huh. but I really like cakes. Oh, nice. And I've always wanted to be a cake decorator, so this is like my first lesson. That's awesome. <laughs> it's true, though. I've never done it before, That's but awesome. I watch videos on how to uh -huh. make cakes. Uh -huh. I've watched the unicorn ones, but I've never done it before, but oh, I've always nice. wanted to. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so here's your barn. There. That's the first step. Perfect. Okay, now the next step is we're going to paint it gold. Um, so we have um, some edible gold paint here. Okay. Uh, we mix in a little bit of extract just so it will become this really shiny gold paint. Uh, and then we like to use a big brush for this. Okay. And then I'm just going to get you to paint the first, um, the side that's facing you because I know it's, it's flat on the table. And I just do it yeah. very gently? Oh, I see. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. So we do about uh, maybe two to three coats until we get the gold um, that we want. So Nikki, tell me, how did Sugar Blooms and Cakes start? Um, so we, well, from the very beginning, my mom has always uh, loved baking and loved mm -hmm. making cakes and pastries. Um, so growing up, we grew up in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, so it's... Um, it's a little island in the Pacific. Okay. Um, that's where she started her cake business. In and Papua remember, New Guinea. Yes, exactly. And I remember, like, she would always be baking, and, I mean, business business was good. Um, and I know, and I remember um, we wouldn't be allowed to play outside until we wrapped, like, the entomata, or we helped her oh, pop really? the brownies, or we helped her, like, make the cake decorations. Yeah. Do I turn this over now? Um, not yet. So we'll let it to dry okay. first, and then we can turn it over. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then when we when we moved to Canada, um, she wanted to continue her business, and then we opened up Sugar Bloom. So we opened up in 2011. Okay, yeah. so it's about nine years then. Yes, it's our wow. ninth year. Yeah, I know. Time flies so fast. I cannot believe it's been nine years. I've always <laughs> driven by McPhillips, and uh -huh. I've always seen Sugar Blooms and yeah. Cakes, but I've always wanted to come here, and I, I, I've never done it. Came right. here until someone said, you guys sell ube cakes, yeah. which is my favorite cake, oh, the purple nice. cake, right? <laughs> so every time there's an event and we need a cake for birthdays or whatever uh -huh. we always come here for your ube cake oh, that's awesome thank you thank, thank you, you for <laughs> so and we'll do her first coat so um usually after this step we would um skewer it into like a styrofoam base and let it, let it dry? And dry yeah okay and then we would paint the other side okay yeah and then it would it'll harden up eventually until it's able to stand on its own mm -hmm. this is what we'll use to uh, and that's the finished product yeah this is the finished product so while helen's do, doing that we can move on to the ears okay so same white fondant um just and what is fondant if people fondant don't know is, okay so it's just pretty much sugar water sugar and um, water yeah Sometimes, um, I mean, we make it out of marshmallow. It's very pliable. Mm -hmm. It's edi it's edible play-doh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah. Edible play-doh. Yeah. So we're just gonna. So I'm gonna get you to knead this out and then roll it into a ball. Okay. Knead it and roll it into a ball. Oh. I guess I need more icing sugar. Yes. So yeah. So you see how it's sticking to the table? Yes. Um, you need to just like scrape off that fondant and then. Yeah. There. So okay. Sugar. So you could use ice, like we use icing sugar just because I I like the texture to be a little more stiff. Mm -hmm. um, you could also use cornstarch if you don't have icing sugar, or you could use um, shortening if you don't have icing sugar. So there's a lot of ways. I think I'd like icing sugar. Yeah. <laughs> because it's sweet, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So when you have 
Um, so the consistency should be a little more stiffer than the Play-Doh. Gonna flatten that out and then put that to the Oh, side. flatten it out? Okay. Yeah, just like a little pancake. Okay, is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. There. And then we're gonna grab pink. This is gonna be the inside of the unicorn. blend. This is a little stiffer in texture, so I'm gonna give that to you. Just gonna grab scissors here. So, Nikki, what is the most popular cake? at your bakery. It would be the ube cake. The ube cake. Yeah, the ube cake. That's our best seller. Um, another flavor that's up and coming is our creme brulee. If you haven't tried it, it's so good. I've never tried it. Oh my goodness. I've always just really stuck to good. the purple ube. Okay. <laughs> but I will make note and yeah. try the creme brulee. I'm trying today. Oh yeah, today I could. I'm ready right? here. Right? <laughs> is this good enough? Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get you to flatten this out and make sure it's smooth. So we're going to switch over to the white again. Okay. So flatten that out. There we go. Perfect. Are you using the palm? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure there's no cracks. Or oh. anything before we roll it out and cut it because sometimes when you roll it out and there's a little bit of a crack yes it's harder show. to yeah yes, i exactly. see you want it nice and smooth yes okay okay yes so now that we have our rolling pin so i'm going to get you to roll out your fondant okay And to what thickness? It's about like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's no really right thickness. <laughs> yeah, as long as it looks good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's no cracks. Yes. So I guess you've been baking your whole life then, if your yeah, mom has started we've this. Yeah, always um, helped out my mom in the kitchen. Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess if you think about it, yeah. So it's, it's come to be uh, like second nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I dream about making cakes in my sleep, and you know, I dream about making cakes too in my sleep. <laughs> I watch. I watch. It is the best dream. <laughs> I'll spend hours just watching yes. Instagram videos, and then my son Jet likes to watch uh -huh. cake decorating wow, too. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! That's really really cool. Do you dream about cakes in your sleep? <laughs> <laughs> They, they are the best dreams. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> so I guess you get lots of inspiration too from cakes when definitely, you... Yeah, definitely. okay. Anywhere, like um, there is one cake that I made uh, for a showpiece and I was thinking of something like royal and then I went to Home Depot and there were tiles that were like embossed. Okay. I'm like that would be really cool to make a pattern like that on a cake. And I tried and tried until I figured it out. I'm like, wow, this is cool. So then a random person just messaged on Facebook and said, oh, where did you get, how did you come up with that design? I'm like, home people. <laughs> so there's inspiration anywhere. Everywhere. Right? I love it. That's awesome. Okay. okay. So with our um, fondant, we're just going to cut it into half. Okay. I guess I will roll it up a little bit more. Yeah, maybe you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cut it in half? Yep. So one side will be one unicorn ear and the other side will be the other one. Okay. And then we're going to cut just a straight line. So this is the bottom of our unicorn. So yeah, you have a line already there, so you can just pretty much cut Okay, I got to turn it over to sure. make sure it's straight. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. And then we're going to shape it. So it's like a teardrop shape. I mean, there's cutters that you could use, but every unicorn is different so i always like to just cut it off by hand okay so it should look like that and then i'll get you to just fold. so i will just cut end, and then cut the other end perfect okay so i'm left hand i have to do this side first oh, you're left -handed. Wow. <laughs> yeah i want to use mine as a template you could do that um you know i already started okay. this one so let's see yeah, and like then that. uh 
Perfect. Those are awesome. big ears, but <laughs> that's okay. No ears are perfect here, right? That's true. Now you can use this as your template. So you Got it. Do. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. So you could use a spatula like we're doing, or you could use an exacto knife. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Awesome. Or whatever is available. Or whatever for you. is available, exactly. So we'll just. Yeah, I could just pinch that. Yes, you there. can definitely just pinch that off. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do my other side here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the pink, but a little smaller, because that's what's going to go on the inside of our unicorn. Okay. So I'm going to give that to you. Sure. Do I cut this in half also? Yes. Okay, so I'll cut exactly. this in half. And then you have to make the base again. Yes, make the base. You could use the original ear as a like a little guide. Um, so say if my ear is this big, then I just have to cut a little bit off like that. Or, yep. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so yeah. what do I do? So if you measured it, <laughs> yes. and then you just want a little bit of the pink, so okay. this will be your starting point, and then you'll just okay. shape from there. Got it, let's do that then. Okay. There we go. Yep. That's perfect. Okay. I'll get this back to you. Oh, do no, the other one? Yeah, do the okay. other one too. You're doing really well. Uh, I hope you are. are. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do my. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, I should probably put some love in here. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So let's get rid of our scraps. Our scraps, yeah. Always yeah. clean your area. Always, yeah. And then here's the water. Yes. All right. So now, um, to get them to hold, we need some sort of support. So we use popsicle sticks. You could also use, I mean, barbecue sticks, whatever you have on hand. Okay. So I'll give you two, and I have two here. Okay. Um, so basically, you're going to sandwich the popsicle stick oh. into the ear. All right. Yeah. You know, I'll give you one, Helen. Okay. So, so if you guys want to start, I'll just grab another paper here. So we'll just put water. Oh, I see. Okay. To stick it. Thank you. Oh, water on the back of this thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, over here. Yeah. Okay. Water. And then you put your popsicle stick. Okay. And then you're going to put water on the popsicle stick. Okay. There we go. And then you sandwich your pink. And then I sandwich here. my pink. And then do I press it down? Yes. Okay. Press it down. Um, smooth out the edges if you need to. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> so we'll just move a little bit out. There we go. Then I'm going to do the other side quickly. Okay. And we just let it dry. Yeah. So that we put aside um, and let it dry. Um, we also use this waveformer. Because ears are not flat, right? They right. kind of curve yeah. like that. Yeah. So this is going to help us form it a little bit. So we oh. just want to try here. So if you want to put yours. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And then we'll just flip this over. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. I thought you guys always kind of curled it. Curled it. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's a little flimsy. Yeah, we it's could, flimsy. We could always pinch it like this, but it's still a little flimsy. Yeah. It needs to dry. Yeah. Curved. <laughs> so then we use uh, whatever you want. For example, mm -hmm. I use a sheet pen. Yes. A corner of a sheet pen. To yeah. Or you, you could use this too. Have it yeah. lay over yes, flat. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you have on hand, you just have to make it work. Right? Okay. Yeah. And then we put this to the side. So we have some here too. Yes. So these are our pre-made ones. And, and See how it's already like curved and it's all It's stiff. hard, yes. Yes. Exactly. Awesome. 
So now we get to decorate the, Yay, the fun part. The fun part. <laughs> so I'll put all of these to the side. Okay. So we're gonna make a rainbow unicorn, and um, part of what makes it really cool is when you swirl um, the icing, you'll see all those different kinds yes. of colors of the yes, rainbow. Yes, I've seen that. Yeah. So we're gonna grab. So here's our icing. So Helen Ritz is gonna <coughs> show you how to prepare our uh, piping bags here. Okay. So we use three kinds of um, piping tips. This mm -hmm. is the Wilton 1M. This is what we call a French tip. Okay. Um, and this is just a little star tip. Just okay. so there's variety right, in the right. unicorn mane. Okay, so uh, for the uh, 1M, we're going to do the rainbow colors. Right, Helen? Okay, so we'll grab. So the trick is, let's try and wrap. And this is like a really cool way. You could do this for cupcakes, for anything. I've seen it, actually. I, I think I yeah. know what you guys are going to do. It's from me and all the videos I've watched, yes. right? So what I think you guys are going to do is put different colors mm -hmm. onto yes, the saran exactly. wrap. Okay, yay. Okay, so, so did you want to? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> what colors do I put? Uh, uh, whatever order you want. So if you want to start this way. Okay, let's do pink because I really okay. like pink. But I'm, I don't know how to hold the bag. Okay, so hold it at the end where okay. it meets. Yep. And then you're going to put the pressure up here. Okay, and this is the guiding hand. This is the guiding hand. Okay. So when you pipe it, Let's just do a sample here. Even oh, pressure. okay. Even pressure. There we go. Yes. Okay, I don't want to waste the icing. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there you'll just pipe a strip of pink all the way there. Okay, and is it this thickness too? A little yeah. thicker, so yeah. squeeze your bag a little more. Yep, that's perfect. Keep on going. I, I need more pressure. Hang on. Okay. There we yep, go. Right there. Awesome. Okay. And then more? Yep. Okay. But just beside it? Yes, right beside it. Perfect. Okay. Let's do one more color. Yeah. We're gonna do oh, all five. Oh, we're gonna do colors. all five? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, nice. last so one. Oh, I don't know. We'll <laughs> see, right? This is the easy part. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now we're going to roll it. Okay. Like burrito. Okay, I'll get you to do that, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll carefully roll it over on itself. Perfect. Yes. Roll um, this one is still. Too long? Okay. Too so long? We'll cut a little bit. Yeah, we can cut it. We're gonna now. use it after. Okay. Yeah, we'll save it. And then you just plop it into your piping bag. I see. Oh, you want me? Just like yeah, this? Just like that. Okay. Have your icing. Oh, look at that! Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's. This do, is my piping bag. Yes. <laughs> let's one. do another set for the French chip. I see. Okay. Did you want to? Uh, you know, I'll get Helen okay. to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I have my bag ready, so I'm ready to go. Awesome. So we'll get Helen to just quickly pipe each color. And this is for the mane of the unicorn. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. And so, uh, Nikki, are you the head? Head baker here or head, head cake decorator? Head cake yes. decorator. So all of the customized cakes um, that come in, um, as well as the ready-to-go cakes, I take charge of those. Oh wow, yeah. wonderful! Yeah. Awesome. Beauty. Okay. Okay. So we are ready to go. So we have our three types of bags here. Let's just clear out our table a little. Oh, <laughs> oh you're lefty. Yeah, I'm lefty. Yeah. Hold with those two fingers. Okay. And press with those. Oh, the bottom ones? Okay. Yeah. Oh, like. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. It's like that. <laughs> so the three um, motions, I guess, 
or the three um, types of piping we're going to do are quite simple. So with this one, we're going to just pipe a simple rose. Okay. So um, if you're going to ice a cupcake, you yep. go anti-clockwise. I'm going to go the other way. Yeah. Counter. This yeah. Why, oh, because you're lefty. Yeah, yeah I'm lefty. Right. <laughs> so when you pipe it. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. You try. Okay. Okay. You guys watch this. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's a little one. Let's try again. <laughs> I think I need more icing. We'll see. Squeeze it harder. Oh, geez. You okay. You're, you're getting there. Yes, definitely. That wasn't so bad, though. But that's, that's the idea that we need for the unicorn. I see. Okay, let me practice again. Yeah. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> more, the more you practice, the more you Yeah, practice. I think I just definitely. need a fuller bag. Yes, yes. Um, so the next one is just a simple solid. Oh, okay. But you can oh, also... Like this? Yes. Okay. You could also do the same thing that you were doing with this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to give you a fuller bag. Yeah, let's do that. Switch that out. Put that in. Okay, so if you want to pipe one more. One more practice? Yeah. And then we'll do the real thing. <laughs> then we'll do the real one. Okay. So I'm going to make a rose. Yes. Uh, no, I don't like Keep it. Keep on piping. Keep okay. on adding that pressure, even pressure. There you go. There! Yay! Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. So this is our frosted cake. And it always starts off with white. Now, uh, we always look for the center, which mm -hmm. is the nicest, straightest looking side. And okay. We, Mark it off with oh, a little... Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Just so we know that we're always in center. Um, are we in the middle? Are, you know, etc. Right. So then um, the way that we're going to do the unicorn is he or she or whatever the unicorn wants to be has a, a little rose pipe right in the middle. So okay. that will mark our center. Yes. And then we're going to pipe the main down. I see. And around. So the hair okay. flows down. Like so, that. you know, I'm going to get you to do that one center rose. <laughs> okay. The center, right? Okay, for And sure. it has to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> So we're just going to pipe, just like that. There we go. Okay, I'll take this back. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> now, um, if you wanted to, like, a little bit of a guide, you could pipe a little, just the buttercream where you want the uh, mean to go or to flow. So okay. So we just pipe one straight down um, the center of the cake, and then where we want it to, like, Oh, like come around, around yes. right. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be our guide. Okay. Um, as to how the unicorn mane will flow. Sure. And then from here on out, it's just whatever you feel looks good. So is it just roses all over? Ro okay. You can do roses, you could do little dollops, you could add just a solid color. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> okay. And do I make yeah, little roses? Going. Little ones, big ones. You can change up your bag. Okay, let's turn right it around. There. So there we go. This is better for me to see. Yeah, just like that. Okay, they're looking nicer now. Yeah. You're getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay, you guys, you have to look at this rose. This is beautiful. That I <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, and just go down. Yes. Oh, that's not nice. We can cover that one. <laughs> okay, so you can switch off bags. Okay. Oh, this is a different tip. That is a different tip, yeah. So you can do roses, you can do dollops. Good job. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. Okay. Wonderful. And just keep going down keep this way. Going. Yeah. Okay. So we would just fill. So I'll give. I'll give you that one. I'll get the pink one. You get that one. Okay. And we're just gonna fill in the gaps here and there. Get the pink. And then you can do dollops here and there. Awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then um, what I like to do just to mark the front, I would put a little bit of a dollop here. If I can borrow yours. Yes. 
because I want the hair to just taper off like that. Got it. And then we're just gonna fill in fill in the spaces here. With what? With, with more parts? of this? Yeah, with more of that. I'll get you to do okay, that for sure. So I can see. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Sure. Oh, I see. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So you can use up all, all that uh, that's in your bag, and then on I'll, this side here. Yep. And do I cover this part here? Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah, I'll use <laughs> use a fuller bag. Awesome. I really like these colors. Yeah. Just like that. And so how long do you think it took for you to be perfect in your roses, oh, Nikki? A long time. A long time? <laughs> a long time. Okay. Awesome. It just takes lots of practice, it right? It does. It definitely does. Okay, so we'll let Helen finish off the mane. Um, so the next step would be to make the eyes okay. while she's finishing off the mane. Yes. And then the last step would be to put the, the horn, horn and the ears. ears. Yes, exactly. So I'll get to you. Okay. Now the this eyes, um, there is no right way to make it, but the way we make it here is um, I like the eyes to be tapered, and then I like that little winged eyeliner. <laughs> you have to have the eyeliner, yes. the eyelashes. Exactly. <laughs> So I'm going to give you that. Okay. And then I'll just take a little bit of fondant here. So you just have to roll it into, into a, a circle. Ball. Okay. Yep. And then just like how you made the unicorn horn, you're going to taper the ends. The ends. Yep. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, has it been long? Oh, whatever you feel like the unicorn. Yeah, that's perfect actually. I'll just take, just uh, roll that out a little bit more. So now you're gonna make one exactly like that. Okay. So a ball. A ball. And yep. A little dog, and then taper it out. Okay. And these are you said the eyelashes. These. This is the main eye of the unicorn, and then we'll add the eyelash. Oh, okay, the main it. eye. Got it. Yes. And so do your brothers, are they part of the bakery too? Yeah, my youngest brother is one of our cake decorators here. Um, the one after me um, is not, but I mean if mom needs help, he's just a text away or a call away. Yeah, uh, my dad also helps out. He's retired, but mm -hmm. he's always here. Mm -hmm. um, he's uh, the one who buys our ingredients. Okay, so it's a family business, really. It is really. definitely a family business. Okay, so we're gonna shape our ear, uh, ear, sorry, our eyes. So we just want them to just, just. Oh, like that, okay. Yeah. And then you're gonna do the other side. Okay. Oh, I see. So this is the eyeliner that I was talking about, the little flick. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no, that looks really good. That looks excellent. Let's just flip this over. Yeah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> and then we do a little bit of fondant for the eyelashes. Just a okay. bit. Oh, I see. So make it into another little log. Just, no, just a, yeah, just a little, little log. And then that's what we're gonna put at the end here. Okay. It's a little difficult, but just... I didn't know you guys actually used fondant for the eyelashes. Yeah. I always thought you guys painted it. Wait, you could paint it. You could pipe on it. Mm -hmm. um, whatever you feel mm. like. Um, but what, what do you guys do here, though? Fondant. 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 Yeah. Fondant is definitely one of our strengths, and so we stick to it. <laughs> and I feel like it's more staple um, if it's fondant as well. And I can, like, we can manipulate it whatever way. Right. Um, if I were to paint it and I make a mistake, it's hard it's to fix. It's hard to fix, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's harder to fix. Okay, so I'm going to get Helen to show you how we put on our um, eyes. So okay. remember that little mark yes. in the middle? The okay. center? I yes. see it here. Mm -hmm. So this is our guide. 
So we want one eye to go that way and the other eye to go that way, but also making sure that we're um, in line with Got each it. other. Got it. Okay. So Helen, so Helen this is all yours. <laughs> <laughs> This is a really important role for the yeah, eyes. Yeah, of course. Oh, you just stuck it? Did you have to yeah. put water over no. it? No. Oh, I yeah. did not. <laughs> That's so cool. It's easier with a chilled buttercream cake. Um, just so if you make a mistake, you can just always take off. Got it. it. Yeah. And you don't need any water to stick it on at all. Okay. It'll stick there, yeah. She's just putting no pressure, Helen. <laughs> Just like that. It's very tedious work, but... And so how much notice would you need if someone wanted to order a unicorn cake? Uh, we need at least two weeks notice. Two weeks notice? Yeah, that'll give us enough time to prep for Got everything it. we need. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, we are booked till Thanksgiving. Oh, you're booked till yeah, Thanksgiving. Booked. There are dates um, throughout the year where it's booked faster than okay. Yeah, and then some. Okay, so we just have to make sure we are in line, more or less, and that we are in line. Are we in line, more or less? Let me check. I think we are. So this one is a little low, so I'm just gonna oh, there you go. pop it up a bit. You're right, it is easy to manipulate. Yeah. Just gonna push this up a bit. And I think we're good. More or less, we're good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I think she looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so Neri, now we're gonna put the horn and the ears. So I'm gonna get you to do the honors of okay. her horn. So what's the rule of putting the um, horn? So making sure that she's center, the horn is center from the front. Okay. Um, as well as um, center in the middle. So if we turn our turntable here, yes, more or less, it should have even spacing from here to here. Oh, I see. So really directly in the center. Yes. And do I just push all the way down? Yep. Okay. Then you commit, and then you just push it down. Commit. <laughs> oh, I can touch this part? Yeah. Keep on going. There. Yay. All the way down? All the way down. Okay, there. Awesome. That's perfect. It is You're perfect. right on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we put the ears. Now, I think these ones are a little too big. And sometimes, I mean, if you're freehanding everything, um, you need to tweak some things a bit. Yeah. So all we do here is just cut it. So the oh, fondant, you just cut it. Yeah, okay. the fondant um, should still be a little soft. That still you're pliable. Able to, yeah. yeah. Um, just take it off. So uh, that's for one ear. I'll get you to cut this one. Okay. Because now they have to have the same size ears. Yes. All right. <laughs> More or less. There. Okay. And then you'll take out that excess. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, the trick for putting the ears is doing them at the same time. At so the same time? Could, yeah. So you could imagine where, more or less where, and then you just commit. <laughs> just commit. <laughs> yes. Is it, okay, is it the center also? Um, what, do you, what did you mean? Like, just over here? Yes. I'm committing, guys. Okay. <laughs> right in. Okay. Oh, wow. I was nervous doing that. Uh, oh, it looks good. Yeah. I think it looks perfect. Awesome. <laughs> and then, if you want to. Oh, so um, let's turn it over so people can see where I place the ears. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to add a little bit more hair, you could pipe a little bit more. Oh, so you can always adjust after. Yes, exactly. So, as the cake decorator, what do you think? I think it looks beautiful. Okay, I, I think so too. <laughs> Helen, what do you, Helen, what do you yeah, think? Looks beautiful. Awesome. And now our finishing touch is a little. Um, oh. What we like to do is our edible glitter. Okay. This is um, edible glitter. It's called flash dust. So it's made out of gelatin and 
um, it's uh, colored silver. So we get a little bit onto our paintbrush, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna. This is where the magic happens. Oh wow! So I'm gonna get you to do that. Okay. Just sprinkle it with glitter all over the mane. All over the mane. Yes. Just gently like that. Yep. I didn't know you guys did this. Yeah. It really does. Right? It makes it more magical. Yes, it does so make it look more magical. when the celebrant opens up the cake box, she'll be like, oh my gosh, it's really a unicorn cake. Yes. <laughs> and then even at the front. Oh, at the front too? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. And we have our finished unicorn cake. And we're done? We're done. That's Whoa. Easy. Anybody could make a unicorn cake. It's super duper easy. Thank you so much, Nikki, for <laughs> giving me my welcome. first lesson on how to make a unicorn cake. Um, like I said, this is my dream to decorate a cake. Obviously, I know I need more practice, but I've had so much fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Helen, you've been so helpful, too. Uh, thanks guys for tuning in and I hope to hear from you guys soon. If you guys have made a unicorn cake, please comment below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. <laughs>